<laughs> you already in it, boo. It's already started. <laughs> <laughs> She had to go to work for a couple hours. Hey y'all, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
at that time. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Amen. It's good, good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. All right, all right. The song says, just a new day. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Free. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, I must say, let's open up with prayer, if you don't mind, and let us keep in prayer, uh, my brothers and sisters, those especially um, around the country yes, who are facing turmoil because of their religious convictions. Amen. Uh, the enemy's busy. Yeah, it doesn't care who yeah. he comes to do. All he comes to do is to steal, to kill, and destroy. Yeah. But there's hope because the scripture says, Jesus said, I'll come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So let us keep all of them in our prayers all around the world with what's going on in Afghanistan and abroad. Amen. 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 If you would, let us open our hearts for a moment of our prayer. If you would, dear Heavenly Father, we are just grateful and thankful again for another day's journey. Yes, yes, we thank you, Father, for our yes, yes, to wake up this morning to have the mindset, Lord, to come into the house of worship. Whether we're doing it virtually or, or physically, Father, we thank you for that Amen. opportunity, Father. There's a lot of people who want to come into our house of worship and want to hear a word, but Father cannot hear a word. But Lord, we just thank you for that opportunity. And Lord, we don't consider it robbery. Uh, we just are grateful uh, for the opportunity to hear a word. Because faith comes by hearing. And we truly believe that hearing comes from the word of God. Be with us today as we go forward with this worship experience. Be with those angelic voices that they say to encourage us. To keep on pressing on. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Everybody feeling good this morning? We are grateful and thankful for you for tuning in virtually and physically here at the Pine Grove Baptist Church in Waverly Hall, Georgia this morning. Amen. And now, we won't have a, um, do we have another song? No. We do. Okay. Well, let's get another song. And following that, we're going to have our scripture and then we're going to have announcements and welcome and going to have inspiration of food for thought, and we're going to get to the Word, because there is a Word yes, sir. Uh, that I think uh, needs our attention today, from the Gospel of Luke, yes, sir. for those of you who want to find it prematurely, the Gospel of Luke, the 19th chapter, there's a young man, well, not young, uh, as a little boy, we remember that story, but he, he's up in a sycamore tree, uh -huh. and we're going to climb that tree with yes, him, we're going to visit all throughout the Gospel of Luke, and we're going to see can we get him down from that tree. And see what's going on with Mr. Zacchaeus. Amen. Luke, the 19th chapter. Amen. Luke 19. Come on, quiet. Bless us if you will. <laughs>
Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for that opportunity to fellowship. We thank you so much. It is good to be once again in the house of worship. And we're going to ask that the Sister Hunter is ready at this time to come and give us our announcement, followed by that Reverend Terry will come and give us an inspirational food for thought. Uh, we're going to take up our offering, and then we're going to have some songs from the choir, a song, and an uh, altar call, a song, and then we're going to uh, press forward and move on to get the word. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Good to be here. It's good to see each and every one of y'all. Know that God has been good to you. Yes, God. Thank you. 
line and govern ourselves accordingly. I uh, do want to welcome all visitors who have come near and far. We thank you for blessing us with your presence today. And just to ditto what Ms. Hunter said, congratulations once again. I also want to say congratulations to you from my wife and I. And I thank you for allowing me uh, to officiate. It was a pleasure, and I appreciate all the ways that the Lord has allowed me to do this summer. I'm thankful for that. So uh, thank you all. It was such a beautiful time. Um, anything else to gain our attention from the floor? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Amen. Anything else? Any visitors like to say anything? You're more than welcome. You can say anything, anyone. Awesome. If not, then we thank you once again for making Titan Grow Baptist Church of Worship experience this morning. Amen. Amen. Um, real quickly, we do have, um, we have, in absence of some of our leaders who are taking some time to uh, celebrate some different uh, uh, thing, anniversaries and things. Let us keep them in prayer. They're on the highways traveling uh, to and fro. Amen. Uh, let us keep them in our prayers. And as Joshua comes up after Reverend here here in a little while, uh, let us keep on our minds, uh, please, the school system, the educators, the administration. Uh, let us keep our children in our prayers. Because you all, we, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But as I often tell you, we know Oh, who holds tomorrow? So we have to really lean and depend on the Lord. There's no need to worry or frantic yourself. We have to live life, but we're going to have to do it a little differently now. And still trust in God. We've been coming to church a long time. Amen. So to give up, the, the pull back your faith and, and throw the towel in now is just not an option for a lot of us. We're just going to keep pressing on. And keep trusting that the scripture tells us in God. And don't lean to our own understanding. No matter how smart and educated we are. All right. We got to trust and lean on one who sits high and look low. And who's the creator yeah. of all things. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to ask Reverend Terry to come and give us uh, inspiration food for thought. And shortly after yeah. that, yes. uh, for those that need to give, had an opportunity, we're going to have the leaders come and, and um, lead us in our offering of giving. Amen. 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 Thank you. It's me. Uh, our inspiration for the Father simply is this. This one is going to be a little bit longer than the scripture reading. <laughs> what I have to encourage, somebody is going to get a message from this. It says a storm. Right. And scripture often symbolizes God's power and his awesome presence. It says when faced with personal tragedy, we wrestle with the same feeling. Mm -hmm. Matthews even tells us that that was a storm. Uh -huh. But Jesus was in the boat sleep. Come on now. And said he woke him up and said, Master, Master, how can you sleep? And Jesus got up and said, Peace. Peace. Come on now. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm just saying something about me. If there's a man that can control the storm. Uh -huh. okay. What do I have to be? <laughs> but Isaiah 43 says it best. Mm -hmm. He said, but now <coughs> thus said the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, mm. for I have redeemed you. Right. I have called you by your name. Right. And it said, capital you, you are mine. He said, when you pass through the waters, it said, I will be with you. Mama. And though the rivers, they shall not overflow, mm -hmm. for I will be with you. It said, when you walk through the fire, mm -hmm. you shall not be burned, right. nor the flame scorch you. For I am your Lord God. Oh, right. Let the church say
have our young men helping with us, especially during our fifth Sunday service. All right, yes, sir. You know, have them doing some things, whether it's a prayer or whether it's a scripture. Uh, we just want to incorporate them in worship because when they go off to military or other places, school or whatever, uh, they can't say that Kind Grove has not shown them how to do, or well, their parents have not shown them how to do something. Amen. Amen. Right. Because I thank God for that. When I went off to college, I had to jump in there. I was pushed in there to take up offering and do some things at churches that where I was. So I thank God for that training. Because when you don't know what to do, then you can't do what is asked of you to do. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to have our brethren give us our offertory prayer as we proceed with taking up our offering. Let's pray. Continue to pray for the 
Continue to pray for the innocents and Daniel. Brother Daniel, your complications. Reverend Harris said, pray for him and his family as well. Amen. Absolutely. Let's keep him in our prayer. Are there any others? Just ask that you continue to pray for Piney Grove. Ask that you just continue to uh, ask for God's blessing on this church. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sir. Next time, we're going to have Reverend Street come and give us our altar call prayer. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Dear Father, we come before a God above all things. We come before a God that hears everything, sees everything, and he knows everything. Father, you have heard from our hearts certainly what our heard from our mouths certainly what our hearts have been meditating on. Some of us have dealt with sickness. Some of us have dealt with the passing of loved ones and friends. But Father, you know all these things. And we're reminded that in times of distress, that you will put us through nothing that we cannot bear. So Father, I thank you for being our burden bearer this morning, oh God. Thank you for being able to carry us through these hard times. Father, you never promised that we would be on the mountaintop all the time. Father, you said that there might be some valleys along this trail. But Father, you told us not to sit there in the valley. You told us to stand up and you told us to walk on through. So Father, I just pray right now for a supernatural strength to come upon us right now, oh God. To be able to give us the faith that we cannot understand. That when people ask us about the problems that we have and we have nothing but positive things to say. They say, God, how did you do this? How did you say these things? God, we know the God that lives in us. We know that He is the God of all things that are possible. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done. Father, you defied all the odds when you went through what you went through. They didn't expect you to be able to be able to, to make it on the cross like you did, but you did it anyhow. They didn't expect you to be able to be in or to leave that tomb on the third day. But when they looked down in that tomb and they did not see you there, God, you did the unthinkable. When you came back those days after, as recorded in the book of Acts, God, and you told them, and you comforted them, Father, you did that too. So, Father, just like you did back then, Father, I have faith that you're going to do it again. Father, some of us are confused. Some of us are stressed. Some of us are worried and depressed. But, God, I know that we stand on a solid rock as long as Jesus Christ. So, Father, in all these requests and all these, and all these uh, questions, God, just be in the midst. Uphold us with your mighty right hand. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.
coming to join our worship experience here at the Pineville Baptist Church in Waverly Hall, Georgia. All right. There is a word yes, uh, right. from the Lord, and it comes from Luke yes, 19. Come on. All right. And I ask that you find it, whether electronically or paperback. Luke 19. Right. Yes, sir. It's the third book of the New Testament. Right. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. You can find the book of Malachi and turn them pages to your left. And you should surely, shortly after that, find the gospel recorded by St. Luke. Yes, sir. Luke's gospel. I'll be reading from 19, verse number 1. All right. All right. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and now behold, there was a man by the name of Zacchaeus, mm -hmm. who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. Uh -huh. And he sought to see who Jesus was. Right. But could not because of the crowd, for he was a short man. The Bible says he was short of stature. Mm. In other words, he was vertically challenged. Y'all got this. Y'all right. already know. Right. So he ran ahead and climbed up what the Bible says is a sycamore tree right. to see him, who's Jesus, for he was going to pass through that way. And when Jesus came to that particular place, he looked up. And he saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste. Come down, for today I must stay mm. at your house. Right. So he made the haste and came down and received him joyfully. But mm. when they saw him, mm. oh, I'm about them folk. Mm. When they saw him, mm. they all complained, saying, He is going to be with a guest, going to be guest with a man who is a sinner. Mm. But then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord. I give over half of my goods to the poor. Mm. And if I've taken anything from anyone by false accusations, I'll restore him fourfold. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus said to him, today, today. not tomorrow, uh -huh. but today, today. salvation uh -huh. has come to your house. Uh -huh. Because he's also a son of Abraham. In verse number 10, in conclusion, for the son of man, uh -huh. oh, this is the great proclamation here, the greatest verse I believe in this text. For the Son of Man has come to seek mm. and to save that which is lost. Come on, man, the hood and the flower of faith. For the word of our God yes, sir. to stand forever. Yes, I just want to talk to you from this subject. The little man right. with the big message. All right. All right. The little man with the big message. Both of us grown up, heard this story all through Sunday school. That kids, the little man that stood up in the tree. <laughs> Oh, it was Jesus that he wanted to see. On, we all remember that story of Zacchaeus in the sycamore tree. There are some lessons to be learned if you could really pay attention to this tree. And we may do that another time because there are some things about this sycamore tree from history, whether it's the Old Testament, King David or King Solomon, up until the present time in the New Testament, this sycamore tree has some presence in Scripture. Right. But my brothers and sisters, Zacchaeus uh, is a not just a tax collector. I need y'all to walk with me this morning. Can y'all walk with me? Come now, the dust of the Jericho, you may yes, want to take your dress shoes off and put on a pair of sneakers or, or some flip flops. <laughs> there you go, Floyd. Get comfortable with us. Let's walk. He's on his way. A man, Brother Joshua, who is climbing up a tree. And you got a man, he's trying to see who's headed to Jerusalem to hang up on. The man that's climbing up a tree to see a man who's about to go die. On the tree. But before we go to Zacchaeus' house, real quick, we have some folk, I believe. If we could stop by their house, not uninvited, I believe I have an invitation come on, right. to come by their house. Come on, right. We got a text this morning. They said, Come on by, Thorn, and see us, and maybe we can help you with this little message you got. Right. So as we get ready to peruse and go through the scriptures in the gospel recorded by St. Luke, there's some houses that we can stop by 